Anytime an Indy car is on track, it is streaming a tremendous amount of real-time data. It all comes down to the sensors on the car itself. Now, by IndyCar rule, there are 22 types of sensors that are allowed, but in many of those, the quantity is not limited. So theoretically, you could log as many as 1,500 channels if you wanted to. This is a position sensor for the front suspension, but there's also a load sensor for this very same corner. So now you know position and load on this suspension on this corner. But you also have that on all four corners of the car. If you link that together with laser sensors that show the exact height of the bottom of the car, now you can do analysis to see what's my downforce level? How does that compare front to rear? And how does the orientation underneath the car compare to what the suspension is doing? There are also temperature and safety sensors as well. For example, there's an infrared brake sensor that tells you the exact real-time temperature of a brake rotor and a temperature sensor on the brake caliper itself. Similar to the wheels, there is a pressure sensor inside each one. It gives you real-time tire pressure for all four tires, but also the internal air temperature as well. So all this analysis can take place for exactly what the car is doing, but it can also alert you when there's a problem. All this information is broadcast from the telemetry radio. And depending on the length of the racetrack, there could be up to five receive sites located all the way around the circuit. Now this is a very unique system that is done series-wide. It's called Cosworth Live. And in fact, they have actually licensed a specific bandwidth so there's no interference. They take all this telemetry information to a central hub and then distribute it to race control, to all the teams, to broadcast media over a fiber optic network. But yes, it's highly encrypted, so you only receive the information for your specific car. But the teams are not limited to just that system. For instance, here at Penske, they run a tandem system with their partner, Bosch. So they have a transmitter, a cellular transmitter, that they use bandwidth from their other partner, Verizon, and they can beam their telemetry information up to a cloud, access it on pit road, but then also they can access this information back at the shop in North Carolina. So the technology for telemetry has advanced to an incredible level. And these cars at the moment can stream telemetry at rates, believe it or not, as fast as a hardwire download. Hey.